Hey everyone, and welcome to your channel. Today, we're diving into the world of options trading with a strategy called covered calls. Ever heard of making money from stocks you already own, even if the price stays flat? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, covered calls might be the key. Think of it like this, you get paid up front to potentially sell your stock at a certain price in the future. It's like getting a safety net while still earning some extra cash. But there's a catch, and we'll break down everything you need to know about covered calls, including the potential benefits, the risks involved, and how to avoid them, all in this video. So, stick around and get ready to unlock a new way to potentially boost your returns. Is a covered call a type of investment or a trading strategy? A covered call is actually both an investment strategy and a type of options trading strategy. Here's a breakdown of why it can be considered both. Investment strategy. Focus on income generation. Covered calls are primarily used to generate income on stocks you already own. By selling call options, you collect a premium up front, which increases your total return on the stock even if the price stays flat. This can be particularly attractive for investors who are bullish or neutral on a stock's price movement in the near term but want to earn some additional return while they hold it. Long-term holding Covered calls are often used by investors with a long-term perspective on the stock. They are willing to potentially sell their shares at a predetermined price, the strike price of the call option, if the stock goes up significantly, but they benefit from the premium income and potential for some stock price appreciation. Options Trading Strategy Utilizes options contracts. A covered call involves selling a call option which is a contract that gives the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to purchase the underlying stock, the stock you already own, from you at a certain price, strike price, by a certain time, expiration date. Selling Options for Premium When you sell a covered call, you are essentially collecting a premium from the buyer for agreeing to sell them your shares at the strike price if they choose to exercise the option. This premium represents the income generated by the strategy. Key Takeaway Covered calls are a way to leverage your existing stock holdings to generate income through options trading. It's a strategy that combines elements of both investing, holding stocks for long term, and options trading, selling call options for premium. Here are some additional points to consider. Covered calls are generally considered a relatively low-risk option strategy because you already own the underlying stock. However, there are still potential drawbacks, such as limiting your potential profit if the stock price rises significantly. It's important to understand options basics before implementing covered calls, as they involve more complexity than simply buying and holding stocks. What does covered refer to in a covered call? In a covered call, the term covered refers to the fact that you are already holding the underlying stock when you sell the call option. This contrasts with a naked call, which is a much riskier strategy where you sell a call option on a stock you don't actually own. Here's a deeper explanation of why covered is important. Obligation to deliver When you sell a call option, covered or naked, you are creating an obligation to deliver the underlying stock to the buyer if they choose to exercise the option, buy the stock from you, at the strike price by the expiration date. Covered by ownership, in a covered call, since you already own the stock, you are prepared to fulfill this obligation if the call gets exercised. You are essentially covered because you have the shares readily available for delivery. This limits your downside risk compared to a naked call. Naked call risk. If you sell a naked call and don't own the stock, you'd be forced to buy it in the market, potentially at a higher price, to deliver it if the call gets exercised. This can lead to significant losses if the stock price has gone up significantly. Additional points. The term covered emphasizes the reduced risk associated with this option strategy compared to naked calls. Even though you are covered by owning the stock, 
you are still giving up some potential upside if the stock price increases significantly beyond the strike price of the call option you sold. This is because if the call gets exercised, you'll be forced to sell your shares at the strike price, even if the market price is higher. Analogy Think of a covered call, like selling a used car that you already own. You can fulfill the sale whenever the buyer wants, exercise the option, because you have the car, underlying stock, in your possession. On the other hand, a naked call would be like agreeing to sell a car you don't even own yet. You'd have to scramble to buy the car, stock, in the market to deliver it if the buyer exercises the option, which could be expensive if the car's price has gone up. Are covered calls only for stocks, or can they be used with other assets? Covered calls are a predominantly stock-focused option strategy but the concept can be applied to some other assets with certain limitations. Here's a breakdown. Why covered calls are primarily for stocks. Underlying ownership, covered calls rely on owning the underlying asset. Stocks are the most common asset class where individual investors can readily buy and hold ownership of individual units, shares. Options availability, listed options contracts which are standardized and traded on exchanges, are most widely available for stocks. This makes it easy to find and execute covered calls on stocks. Can covered calls be used with other assets? Limited applicability, while not as common as with stocks, covered calls can be conceptually applied to some other assets where options contracts exist and you can hold the underlying asset. Here are a few examples. Exchange-traded funds, ETFs, if an ETF has corresponding options contracts available, you could potentially implement a covered call strategy by holding the ETF and selling call options on it. However, important considerations include the structure of the ETF and the potential for tracking error between the ETF and its underlying holdings. Futures Contracts In theory, Covered calls could be used with futures contracts where options on those futures exist. However, this strategy is uncommon for individual investors due to the complexities of futures markets and margin requirements. Important considerations for using covered calls with non-stock assets. Liquidity, options markets for assets other than stocks tend to be less liquid meaning it might be harder to find suitable call options to sell and potentially lower premiums earned. Delivery Mechanics The mechanics of delivering the underlying asset when a call option gets exercised can be different for assets other than stocks. Make sure you understand the specific delivery process for the asset you're considering. Tax Implications Tax implications of covered calls can vary depending on the asset class. It's important to consult with a tax advisor for specific details. How does a covered call generate income? Covered calls generate income through the concept of option premiums. Here's a detailed explanation of how it works. The mechanics of a covered call. 1. Holding the stock, you already own shares of a particular company, the underlying stock. 2. Selling the call option. You enter into an options contract by selling a call option on that stock. A call option grants the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to purchase your shares at a predetermined price, strike price, by a certain expiry date. 3. Collecting the premium. In exchange for giving the buyer the right to buy your shares at the strike price, you receive a premium up front. This premium represents the income generated by the covered call strategy. Understanding the premium The premium amount is determined by several factors, including the stock price, strike price, time to expiration, and implied volatility. The higher the potential profit for the call option buyer, if the stock price rises significantly, the higher the premium you'll receive for selling the call. Scenarios and Income Generation Stock price stays flat or declines. If the stock price stays flat or even declines by the expiry date, the call option will likely expire unexercised. You keep the premium you collected as income, 
and you still hold your original shares. Stock price rises moderately. If the stock price rises moderately but stays below the strike price, the call option will likely expire unexercised. You again keep the premium and your shares. Stock price rises significantly above strike price if the stock price rises significantly and goes above the strike price, the call option becomes profitable for the buyer. They might choose to exercise the option, meaning they buy your shares at the strike price. In this scenario, you earn income from both the premium you received up front and the sale of your shares at the strike price. However, you miss out on any potential further price appreciation of the stock. Key Takeaway The income from a covered call comes from the premium you receive up front for selling the call option. This premium is yours to keep regardless of whether the option gets exercised or expires. Additional Points Covered calls are often used to generate income in a neutral or slightly bullish market outlook on the stock. You are essentially betting that the stock price won't rise significantly, but hoping to earn some income from the premium. The income potential from covered calls is capped at the strike price if the option gets exercised. This is a trade-off for the reduced risk compared to naked calls. What is the benefit of reduced volatility with covered calls? Reduced volatility is a significant benefit of covered calls because it allows you to 1. Generate consistent income Lower premium erosion In options pricing, a key factor is implied volatility. When volatility is high, option prices tend to be more expensive. Conversely, in periods of low volatility, option prices become cheaper. Covered calls benefit from this because you're selling options, collecting premium. With lower volatility, the premium you collect experiences less erosion over time, leading to a more consistent income stream from the premiums themselves. Higher probability of keeping the premium, lower volatility often translates to smaller price swings in the underlying stock. This makes it less likely for the stock price to surge above the strike price you set for the call option. If the stock stays below the strike price by expiration, the option buyer won't exercise it, and you keep the entire premium you received up front. 2. Manage Portfolio Risk Hedge against sudden price drops, covered calls can act as a hedge, particularly in situations where you're bullish or neutral on a stock's long-term prospects but want to protect against sudden price drops. By selling a call option, you collect premium income, which can help offset potential losses if the stock price falls. Limit downside in a flat market. In a stagnant market with minimal price movement, covered calls can still generate income through the premiums. This helps you earn some return even if the stock price doesn't appreciate significantly. 3. Improved Risk Reward Profile Reduced Potential Losses Compared to simply holding the stock, covered calls limit your potential downside if the stock price falls. The premium you receive acts as a buffer, reducing the impact of a decline. Defined Income Potential The income you generate from the premium is predetermined when you sell the call option. This provides a clear picture of the minimum return you'll receive on the investment regardless of the stock's price movement within a certain range. Important Considerations Capped Upside Potential The benefit of reduced volatility comes with a trade-off. If the stock price significantly increases beyond the strike price of the call option you sold, you'll miss out on those potential gains. The option buyer will exercise the option and purchase your shares at the strike price, even if the market price is higher. Strategic use of volatility. While reduced volatility benefits covered calls, there are situations where higher volatility can be advantageous. If you have a strong bullish outlook on the stock and are comfortable with more risk, holding the stock without selling calls allows you to capture the full potential upside if the price soars. How can capped gains limit potential profits? Capped gains refer to the limitation on potential profits you experience when using a covered call strategy. 
Here's a detailed explanation of how it works. The mechanics of capped gains in covered calls. 1. Selling the call option. You sell a call option on a stock you already own, covered call. This option grants the buyer the right to purchase your shares at a predetermined price, strike price, by a certain expiry date. 2. Potential scenarios. Stock price stays flat or declines. The call option expires unexercised, and you keep the premium, but your profit is limited to the premium amount plus any small gains from minor stock price increases. Stock price rises moderately, the call option might still expire unexercised if the price stays below the strike price. You again keep the premium plus moderate stock price gains. However, these gains are capped at the difference between the purchase price of the stock and the strike price. Stock price rises significantly above strike price if the stock price surges above the strike price, the call option becomes profitable for the buyer. They might exercise the option, forcing you to sell your shares at the strike price. This scenario limits your gains in two ways. Selling at strike price you capture the profit up to the strike price, but miss out on any further price appreciation if the stock continues to climb after you sell. Forfeited upside potential. You forego the chance to potentially sell your shares at a much higher price in the future if the stock keeps rising. Tapped gains versus Unlimited gains. Covered calls. Your profit potential is capped at the premium earned plus the difference between your purchase price and the strike price if the option gets exercised. Holding the stock without covered calls, your profit potential is theoretically unlimited if the stock price keeps rising. What is assignment risk in a covered call? Assignment risk in a covered call is the possibility of being forced to sell your stock holding at the strike price even if you'd prefer to keep it. This can happen when you implement a covered call strategy and specific market conditions arise. Here's a breakdown. The mechanics of covered calls. You already own shares of a stock, underlying stock. You sell a call option on that stock. This option grants the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to purchase your shares at a predetermined price, strike price, by a certain expiry date. Assignment Risk and Early Exercise The buyer of the call option has the right to exercise the option at any time before expiry. This means they can choose to buy your shares at the strike price, regardless of the current market price. Assignment risk becomes more likely in certain situations. Stock price rises above strike price. If the stock price goes significantly higher than the strike price you set for the call, the option becomes profitable for the buyer. They are more likely to exercise the option to purchase your shares at the lower strike price and immediately sell them in the market at the higher price. Time decay, closer to expiry as the expiration date approaches, the time value of the option diminishes. If the stock price is already above the strike price or very close to it, the buyer might exercise the option to secure the potential for further price gains even if the remaining time value is low. Impact of Assignment Forced Sale If the option gets exercised, you are obligated to sell your shares at the strike price, even if you'd prefer to hold them for a longer-term price appreciation. Missed Potential Profits you miss out on any further upside if the stock price continues to rise after you are forced to sell at the strike price. Managing Assignment Risk Choosing the right strike price, selecting a strike price that is slightly higher than the current stock price can help reduce the likelihood of early exercise. However, this also reduces the premium you can earn from selling the call option. Monitoring Stock Price Keeping an eye on the stock price and the time value of the option as expiry approaches allows you to make informed decisions. You might consider buying back the call option, at a cost, to close the position if assignment risk seems high. Rolling the call, this involves closing your existing covered call, selling to buy back the call option, 
and simultaneously opening a new covered call with a higher strike price or later expiry date. This can help you potentially capture some additional premium while reducing immediate assignment risk. All right, that brings us to the end of our crash course on covered calls. Remember, covered calls are a strategy best suited for investors who are comfortable holding a stock long term and want to generate some income while they wait. It's not a get rich quick scheme, but it can be a valuable tool in your investment toolbox. If you're interested in learning more about covered calls, including how to choose strike prices and manage assignment risk, I've left some helpful links in the video description below. There you'll also find some additional resources on options trading in general. So, what do you guys think? Are covered calls something you might consider using in your own portfolio? Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on stock market strategies, investing tips, and anything else that can help you reach your financial goals. We'll see you on the next one.